What's happening there, world? You ready for an adventure? Well, I sure as shit am. And by adventure, I mean eat all the food and drink all the kava. Kava, little known fact, it's actually a sparkling wine. Uh, originated in Spain, made from local grapes. Uh, right now we're heading to Pobblesec District. We're going to uh, go to the One Euro Tapas Street, where there's just a bunch of One Euro Tapas and Pinchos. Pinchos, small crusty bread, put meat on top, cheese on top, uh, seafood on top, or you put it all on top. It doesn't really matter, as long as it's on top of these bread, and you put a little pick through it. And that's how they know what to charge you. Tapas, I'm gonna give you a little history of the tapas. So there's multiple stories, I'll tell you the two I know. One, uh, one of the kings out here, can't remember his name, they've had several kings. Uh, when he was ill, he could only drink small amounts of wine and eat small amounts of food at a time. So there is tapas, it's food that you, you know, a little amount of food that you have with a drink. The other story is that uh, one of the servants, if you will, of the king, he would open the window and during the summer it would be a lot of dust would come in. And so one day, in order to cover the king's glass of water, he put a little piece of ham, a tapa, a top, on top of the, uh, the glass. And when the king came in, he saw it and he ate it and he drank it with his wine. So those are the two stories. Regardless of which one you believe, uh, believe that tapas are the shit because they're fucking awesome. If you want a lot of a, a lot of things, this is the way to do it. So let's do the damn thing. This street here where you can find one euro to one 50 euro tapas uh, for about 300 meters. It's pretty awesome. Can't go wrong. Well, cheers. <laughs> Those are like little mashed potato balls stuffed with uh, like meatball or uh, chorizo and topped with a uh, roasted red pepper sauce. Uh, phenomenal. Um, here we're going to find more pinchos though. And as far as pinchos, really um, anything uh, and everything. <laughs> chorizo with the pickle uh, I would leave it there a couple things in case you you know want to make the journey out here um, never stop at the beginning or the end of the street try and find the ones in the middle typically I think they're better uh, also don't uh, don't come during like typical lunchtime like two two ish or I guess one I would come either early right when they open or I would come right when they reopen at night around like seven or eight that's when you're gonna get the freshest freshest pen shows a couple other quick notes uh, never eat the last pen show off of a plate because they're just gonna bring out a fresh plate of that pen show after you eat the last one so you might as well let some other person eat the last one because it's not gonna be that good it's gonna be the one that's been out the longest and wait for them to bring out the fresh stuff Pencho 
literally actually means thorn or spike. So that's why they're all picked. And that's why you use the pick. It's like a small snack that you serve at a bar. And you use the small picks to designate, you know, how many you've eaten and how many you need to pay for. Uh, yeah, I'm more of a tapas fan, I think. Uh, the pinchos are good. Uh, you, uh, you, looks like you can literally take any piece of food, put it on a piece of bread, call it a pincho. I particularly, if, if I were doing it, er, or Americanizing it, if you will, uh, I would also take pincho to mean pinch. And I would make it like a little bit smaller. Maybe even a thinner cut of bread and a smaller amount of food. That way you really can have like eight to 10 everywhere you go. And that's, you know, that's kind of my experience today. So not bad, definitely a learning experience. Food is pretty good. Uh, I wish it just would have been a little fresher. Peace out, until next time.